All right, we got a lot to cover today. I'm going to get into the U.S. possibly defaulting on its debts. We're going to talk about the BRC20 situation and how it's been affecting the price of Bitcoin lately. And more importantly, if the developers are going to ban this new technology, then we'll finish up in the charts. So stick around until the end of the video and let's get started. But first, don't forget to check out my merch store at OnlyGoodCrypto.com. We just dropped some new designs, but we still got the classics. Yeah, it's a hustle with the Elon quote from Dogecoin at the peak of the market. Got a Dogecoin hat, the Golden Sheep. These are really comfortable. I only get the premium stuff. And now for a limited time, we got I Survived the Crypto Winter shirts with a Diamond Hands design. And we got Dorian Nakamoto as Jack from The Shining. And if you really want to show off your love for the channel, we finally got some official Only Good Crypto Channel shirts. With the Only Good merch, if you wear Only Good, you're going to feel Only Good. So don't forget to do Only Good every day and get on over to OnlyGoodCrypto.com right after this video and check it out. Looking at the crypto bubbles, you can see that this month it's been nothing but pretty much red. And I guess it finally did turn out to be true what they say, sell in May and walk away. But looking at the weekly chart, it looks like we might actually be having a little bit of a recovery. And we'll get into the charts here in just a minute and look at that. Over the past few weeks, we've been seeing some pretty great mania going on in the Bitcoin market, which is a real surprise because it's actually been the most boring coin for the past few years. Recently, they got this new Ordinals protocol and somebody decided to build some BRC20 tokens, which are supposed to be analogous to ERC20 tokens on the Ethereum blockchain. Basically, this means that there's been an ICO boom on the Bitcoin blockchain, and this has been clogging Bitcoin and making the transaction fees really high. Obviously, this has the Bitcoin maxis panties all up in a bunch because they think that Bitcoin is only supposed to be digital gold and a store of value. And according to this article by Coindesk, among Bitcoin developers, debate is raging over whether to censor ordinals or BRC20s. In my opinion, this would take away the whole meaning of Bitcoin because this would basically be revoking the things that people bought with their Bitcoin. And the whole point of Bitcoin is making sure that nobody can take away your assets. Bitcoin is supposed to be immutable. At the very peak, the BRC20 market cap got over a billion dollars. And with it sitting at over half a billion dollars right now, if the Bitcoin developers do revoke this BRC20 token's ability or the Taproot upgrade, then that's going to totally rob Bitcoin holders of about half a billion dollars in value. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I'm an idiot, so I don't know if I necessarily understand how this is all going to happen. But from what I can tell, it seems that the only thing they would be able to do would, to go, would be to go back and basically say that the Taproot upgrade never happened. And I guess that means that they would have to basically take a screenshot of where all of the funds were sitting at that time and then go back to that and reverse all of these transactions. If they do that, then that's going to reverse all the rest of the transactions and people that made other purchases that weren't BRC20 tokens are going to be affected as well. This is going to basically ruin the trust that Bitcoin has. And I think that this would totally kill the whole project. Another option that they could do is that they could have a hard fork where they basically just make one fork have the transactions up until the point of the taproot upgrade and do what I said before, while the other side of the fork would basically just go on being what it is right now. In that case, I think that the previous one would die because of the same reasons that I said a while ago. And I believe that the original version of Bitcoin that basically we were going to fork from would die because basically all of the miners are going to go with this new version. They're making a killing off of these BRC20 mints. And since the volume was so low on the Bitcoin blockchain before, they were barely even able to mine in the first place. This basically makes it sustainable for them to run a business. And I think that they're going to go where the money goes. So in my opinion, the Bitcoin maxis and the developers don't really have an option here. And since they already did the taproot upgrade and all of these developments have happened, they're just going to have to deal with it and move on. Not to mention the maxis messiah, Michael Saylor, is pro BRC20 and he thinks that this is a great development. Every time someone builds an application that's cool on Bitcoin, right? Like all the ordinals and inscriptions and whatever, they're driving up transaction fees. It's catalyst. Since Binance had to halt withdrawals or Bitcoin transactions or whatever they did over the past week or so due to the high fees on Bitcoin as a result of the BRC20 craze, it seems like people were kind of freaking out and they don't really know which direction this is going to take Bitcoin as a project. 
But in my opinion, this is just an opportunity for innovation. And I think that the Bitcoin developers are going to pull it together and offload a lot of these transactions onto layer twos so that the Bitcoin fees aren't going to be so high in the future. And this is going to turn out to be an anomaly. Ultimately, this is going to be positive for Bitcoin and it might even drive the narrative of the whole next bull market. So I'm very bullish, but this technology might not be ready to send us to the moon yet. What will be probably ready to send us to the moon, however, is the news that Treasury Secretary Yellen says the U.S. risks breaching the debt ceiling by June 1st. All of this talk of us breaking the debt ceiling and defaulting on our debts is going to send Bitcoin to the moon one way or the other. If we default on our debts, then people are going to lose faith in the dollar and they're going to be looking for an alternative currency. If we don't default on our debts, however, then the only way that we're going to find the money to pay for all of our debts, including the interest and the continued spending that the government is going to do, especially in times while we're having a recession and taxes aren't going to be coming in as heavily as they have been in the past few years, there's only going to be one option and that is the Fed printing more money. So that's going to send Bitcoin to the moon or else if, the, if we default on our debt, then we're going to the moon anyway. So I hope you're ready and you have your bags packed because we're getting ready to launch. I've talked before about how Bitcoin has just broken out of this downward wedge with a price target of the top of the wedge and that we're probably not going to be making another lower low because this previous lower low that we experienced was because of the FTX collapse and it doesn't get much more scary than that. So I believe that was full capitulation. In the short term, however, it does look like we possibly have been playing out this head and shoulders formation. And how you project where this is going to play out is that you take the height of the head and extend it from the breakout of the neckline. And basically that'll take us down almost to this trend line that we've bounced off of before in the past. The price target is roughly $24,000, maybe just a little bit below that. And if we do make it all the way down to there, then I wouldn't be surprised if we actually bounce off of the 200 day moving average. Right now, it looks like we may have had a failed breakout or breakdown from this pattern. And if we do break above the neckline, then we may invalidate this pattern. However, we might currently be coming back up to turn the neckline into resistance before ultimately flushing out. But unless we come back down here and dip below $20,000 and make a lower low, then we're going to be ultimately making a bullish divergence here on the RSI and I think this is going to be a higher low sending us for another leg higher. At the very worst this dump could take us all the way back down to about $20,000 without us making a lower low and we could still go back to the upside but I have been talking about this CME gap back here at about $20,000 a few times in the past and I still have my eye on it so I think that in the very worst case scenario we might fill this out before we ultimately bounce and go back to the upside some more. Also if we do come back down to about $20,000 we'll be coming down into this retest zone for the master plan on Master Kenobi's Twitter page and this chart basically relies on the four-year halving cycle but as you can see there is some really great patterns that continue to play out and it does look like we probably will be coming back into this retest zone. However, as I said before, I don't think we're going to be making a lower low here. And we are probably going to be forming a bullish divergence whenever we do ultimately find a bottom. And between all of these bullish indications in the charts, the BRC20 craze possibly heating up and the debt ceiling nearing to an end, I think this dip that we're currently seeing can only last for so long and Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market can't be held down forever. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are we going to fill out this head and shoulders formation, bringing the price down to about $24,000? Or are we going to nullify this whole thing and go back for a higher high? Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This is Abisu. He's named after one of the seven lucky gods of Japan. According to legend, he will bring wealth and prosperity to anybody who evokes his name. So don't forget to write his name in the comments or you'll bring dishonor to your whole portfolio. And check out this video right here. Say goodbye, Abisu.